Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we are back on the website of Armati Auctions based in the UK. Uh, we're going to have a look at their affordable uh, auction which finishes tomorrow, uh, which is Wednesday the 28th of April. Uh, the auction's been up for uh, a week or so, a little bit over a week. I think it's been up since about the 18th of April. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's check out the auction. 22% um, buyer's fee uh, and VAT may be applicable in some cases. Uh, different shipping zones, so kind of check all the specs as before. Uh, you can see all the information up the top. Uh, I think that there are about um, 275 items uh, in this auction. So let's um, let's blitz through and just see, see what's going on. We can also see some of the bidding uh, going on already, so that could be interesting. Uh, so first of all, um, we have a cello table signed S.A. Forster, London. So uh, Forster, a uh, good uh, cello maker, instrument maker. So that's an interesting lot. Current bid three seven five. Uh, cello back and scroll labelled made by Peter Wormsley. Wormsley again, another really good English uh, instrument maker. Let's just have a quick look at these pictures. It's curious enough. A cello back and table unlabelled. So if you want to assemble a cello, there's lots of different uh, parts available in this auction, it seems. Uh, another cello table. It's a good opportunity to have a look at some of these uh, old tables. A cello back, branded Perry Dublin, which is uh, quite interesting. I don't recall ever having seen a Perry cello before. It's hard to see the brand, I think, in that, so I'm not sure about that one. But uh, interesting, nevertheless, £50. Someone's interested. Um, and then onwards, another cello back. So, obviously, someone's uh, collected a load of parts of uh, cellos over the year, or a maker, restorer, and they're getting rid of all of those. Uh, a cello unlabeled current bid five thousand pounds so from an estimate of 10 to 20 i mean the affordable is always a pretty low estimate so that's popular does look quite interesting uh, neck badly glued at button you can see some other bits uh, and pieces repaired an interesting looking cello there a uh, cello labelled Horst Grunert, Pensberg, 1983. With uh, sold with one two bows, so probably sold with two bows. I think looks pretty standard. There's nothing common there, other than you can see that there's a repaired uh, crack. We won't look at all of the. Uh, condition reports because that'll take a bit too long. A uh, cello labelled A Ferdinand Petzold. Okay. A cello labelled Suzuki. I don't think we need to look any further on the details of that. Uh, a cello unlabelled with one bow. A cello labelled Carl Zack and Co. Vienna. It's a very dark uh, cello. See what the uh, things say. So some open cracks there. Uh, the back. Oh no, the front has been closed. Uh, a viola unlabelled. Uh, 
another unlabeled viola. I don't really think we need to go too much into that one. Another unlabeled viola. A missing head and neck. So there you go. No head or neck on that one. A violin labelled Nicholas Amatus. Current bid £850. So it's quite a lot. I think because it's in pretty good condition. I think that's what the condition report says. I briefly looked at this one a bit earlier. A violin labelled Jack Monk. Maker Merton, Surrey, 1893. Interesting corners. Let's have a quick look what the uh, this is fine, so it's potentially not too bad. A violin unlabeled. Interesting figure on the back. A violin unlabeled again. Finally labelled Antonius Stradivarius. We'll just keep pushing through unless there's something very interesting. Uh, violin unlabeled, fingerboard bearing the hill number 9067. Hillbridge also sold with violin, £130 on that. I think this is uh, slightly interesting. So, yeah, graft there. There you go, there's a hill uh, bridge. Ribs loose. Uh, there's a few open cracks and closed cracks on the uh, top. A violin labelled Joan Carol Klotz. One comes with one bow. Nothing to do with the Klotz family, I do not think. Uh, violin branded VP on top POC 475, so that's popular. That's good, they're showing pictures of that, so let's, uh, let's have a look at that. Hmm. It's interesting. Scratch on back near sound post, so that could be worth investigating. A violin labelled Antonio Stradivarius. It's fairly standard. It closes notice here. Yeah. A violin labelled John Hardy. It's rather upright uh, F holes. Okay. 190 bid on that so far. A violin unlabeled comes with one bow, so 2750. So, someone's interested in uh, in this. Interesting varnish on the back, it's got the ebony crown, looks like it's got a graft as well. A violin labeled Nicholas. Uh, Bertolini. So, uh, quick look here. Uh, violin labelled copy de Nicholas Amatus. Only ten pounds current bid on that. That's uh, super inspiring so far. <coughs> A violin labelled George Klotz. And looks fairly standard, nothing outrageous there. Uh, violin branded Breton. A violin unlabeled, no fingerboard on that one. 
again, these are pretty, pretty standard tradie instrument. Fun enabled Gliga Vasil, uh, 2009 Reagan, so uh, Romanian uh, violin. 230, so current bit. I mean, that could be okay. Might be a nice student instrument. A violin unlabeled. Double purfling. A uh, violin unlabeled. That's another one that's quite dark varnish. A uh, violin unlabeled. That's quite, seems quite narrow. That's slightly interesting. Let's just have a quick look at the condition report. Open crack on the front, open crack on the scroll. That's curious. A uh, violin unlabeled, it's got 215, looks like slightly interesting varnish job. Okay. Violin labeled Medio Fino 200, current bid. So this is the uh, kind of cheaper French uh, stuff uh, Vine labelled Antonio Stradivarius that's had a bit of a interesting life interesting varnish it's pretty standard Uh, Vine enabled Johannes Franciscus Ch uh, Chiliniatus. That's 425, that's on that. So, one of the more interesting varnishes so far. Vine enabled Antonius Stradivarius. Interesting. Uh, bird's eye back, it's quite nice, looks like the neck is uh, bird's eye as well some funny things going on here with the scroll, some repairs 80 bid on that so far a violin labelled Antonius uh, Thier current bid 100 A violin unlabeled. No label. It's pretty new. A violin unlabeled. Okay. A violin bearing repairs label. Uh, P.F. Strom Helsingborg. 1900. We always seem to have quite a lot of things, I think, from Helsingborg uh, in these Armati auctions, uh, if I recall correctly. But uh, maybe not. Interesting, the scrolls are uh, struggling a little bit there. Uh, a violin, unlabeled. Skipping in one there. Violin unlabeled again. Two thirty bid on that. Violin unlabeled. Very similar to the one we saw fairly recently. It's a kind of modern, uh, fairly generic violin. Uh, another unlabeled violin. Just more trade instruments here. Violin with repairers label. Uh, G. Carlson. So it's, uh, good opportunity just to load the uh, 360 viewer. 
You get a better idea sometimes. It's interesting enough. A violin unlabeled. A violin partially labelled. Uh, another violin partially labelled. Bit of uh, bird's eye on the back. A violin labelled Jan uh, Jan Stamitz. So it's a uh, baroque uh, violin it seems and I think that we can probably confirm that interesting scroll uh, with the 360 you can see that the uh, yeah the neck is straight and then it has the kind of wedged fingerboard so there you go it's a uh, baroque violin for anyone that's interested in that 2004 so check uh, check baroque violin uh, violin unlabeled A violin labelled Antonius Stradivarius, branded Stradivarius on back. A few repairs. A three-quarter size violin labelled Antonius Stradivarius. We can go past that. A violin unlabelled. Uh, three quarter uh, labelled Antonio Stradivari, a violin unlabelled, a violin unlabelled, a violin unlabelled. Interesting um, F holes. It's quite a simple uh, instrument. Uh, violin unlabeled again. We're cracking on here. We're on 63 now. A violin labeled Aldry Luthier, Paris. Oh, here we've got a, a lion head uh, one. Not the greatest. A violin labelled GPS. It's getting a little bit crude. A violin unlabeled. Unlabeled. It's slightly more simple. Let's just have a quick look on the 3D viewer. Uh, a check uh, strad. So we can just go past that one. A violin unlabeled. The violin unlabeled. Unlabeled violin. So this is just the uh, affordable auction. So it's all the kind of project lower price stuff. Uh, neck removed. It's a Strad uh, copy. Uh, violin labelled Hawks and Son Piccadilly. I think we've seen a few of these before. Mix in quite good condition. 
7 8 violin, unlabeled. Interesting back. Uh, three quarter, uh, labeled L Luthia Dart. A violin unlabeled. A violin unlabeled again. Uh, violin unlabeled. A uh, tiny little violin labeled a uh, medio fino. So we don't need to look at that any further. A uh, violin labeled Mark Dear Love leads. Uh, 1813 uh, repaired by FJ Duckworth 1957 let's have a look at this so it looks like an interesting uh, thing a little bit violin labelled Antonio Stodivarius so there's a lot of uh, violins a violin labelled Viome Paris. Seven eighth violin unlabeled. Slightly uh, interesting body shape. Violin unlabeled. Small uh, button there. A violin unlabeled, that's an interesting uh, looking one. It's, uh, F holes are very uh, close together there. It's a curiosity. Hmm. Interesting scroll, it's quite wide down at the bottom there. It's uh, one of the more curious ones so far. Violin labeled Antonius uh, Stodorus. Three quarter size violin unlabeled. A violin unlabeled. That's very, it looks very narrow in the uh, C belts in the center belt area. A violin unlabeled. Another violin unlabeled. Uh, another violin unlabeled. Okay. A violin labeled copy of George Klotz. Finally labelled Antonia Stradivarius. Three quarter size violin unlabeled. Finally labelled Antonia Stradivarius. Three-quarter violin labelled Antonio Stradivari. Violin labelled Nicholas Amatus. Violin unlabelled. Oh, that's got some interesting uh, purfling there. It's quite curious. Looks like some interesting boxwood pegs uh, let's just quickly no uh, yes let's go on let's uh, 
why not let's 3D view this one a little bit. That's interesting down the bottom there, isn't it? That's curious. What does it say on the uh, condition report? Top possibly by another hand. Interesting. There's also something funny going on here. All curious. 7 eighths file in, unlabeled. Mm, this actually looks quite nice. Net graft, yeah. 120 on that. What does it say? Not a lot. It's had some repair to the uh, F holes. That's a crack there. Hmm, interesting. Interesting instrument. This one. Lot 98. That's one of the more interesting. Violent unlabeled. Another violin unlabeled. Violin unlabeled. And this is a curious one. Curious uh, neck. Ooh, let's have a look at the 3D image. That's curious. Um, doesn't look like there's a condition report on that one. Violin unlabeled. Another violin unlabeled. Violin labeled Viome Paris. Violin labelled Andreas Kola, Voitland. Violin signed W. Dickerson, circa 1847. That's a curious uh, shape. That looks quite nice. That's a neck graph. Curious looking thing. Wow, that's had uh, quite a lot of closed cracks. So one on the back, lots of repairs. So the, you can see that the top is a bit uh, mangled, unfortunately. A violin labelled Mr. A. Bittner, Prague, 1934. There's a few bids on this one already. Yeah, looks slightly better than uh, most of the other instruments so far violin labelled uh, VF Savini and Sons violin unlabeled Violin labelled Anthony Stradivarius. A violin unlabeled. A violin unlabeled again. Uh, violin labelled Antony Stradivarius with one bow. Made in West Germany. Violin unlabeled. Uh, three quarter violin. Violin unlabeled. And that violin unlabeled, those F holes are very uh, close. Uh, 
another file in unlabeled file in unlabeled Violin labelled the table later. So that's another one that's had a hard, uh, hard life for sure. Violin unlabeled. Uh, three quarter size violin made in the workshop of Andreas Zeller. So modern Romanian violin unlabeled. Violin labeled John Baptist Schweitzer. 3G5 is a bidding on that one. Violin unlabeled. Uh, seven eighth size violin unlabeled. A violin labeled copy of uh, Jacobus Steiner. Pretty standard. Three quarter size violin labeled Antonio Stradivarius. Let's have a quick look at this one. Interesting uh, varnish wear. A violin unlabeled. Three quarter sized violin labeled Mittenwald. A violin unlabeled. A three quarter size violin bearing repairers label. Have a quick look at that. Interesting neck graft. It's a curious three quarter violin. Might have some. Uh, age to it. A violin unlabeled with the double purfling. A violin labeled Nicholas Amatus. A violin faintly labelled. A violin labelled Jacobus Steiner. A violin unlabelled, which has had its uh, varnish uh, messed about with and a broken button there. Lots of uh, issues on that one, I think. Half size violin labelled Me Finn. Three quarter labelled Antonia Stradivarius. Violin unlabelled. A violin unlabelled. A violin unlabeled. So. Slightly interesting, let's see, there's some text here. Holes drilled through the violin, varnish altered everywhere except the ribs. Excellent, sounds uh, promising. 
a violin labelled Mediofino. So, another one of these Mediofino types. Uh, three quarter size violin labelled uh, Companion. A violin unlabelled. A violin branded Nicholas Duchenne. A violin labelled Leon Bernadel. Uh, a violin special model Nicholas Amati. Well, there are a lot of violins in this auction, for sure. A three-quarter size violin, labelled Antonio Stradivarius. A violin labelled Breton Brevet. Big split there in the front. Violin labelled Antonio Stradivarius. Interesting, it has mechanical tuners on it. Don't see that too often here anyway, maybe more so in the US. Uh, violin, unlabeled. Looks slightly interesting. It's got a brand at the back. Let's just have a quick look at the... Uh, it's strung for Baroque, so we presume that the uh, neck is fairly straight there. That's quite interesting, that one, actually. Ooh, let's have a look. Stamp Duke London. Alterations to varnish on a table. And there's some closed cracks. Could be a good budget Baroque thing for someone. A uh, violin unlabeled. Forty-five on that. Let's just have a quick look at that. Interesting. A violin labelled uh, Gaspar de Salo. Oh, that's actually fairly interesting. Let's have a quick look on the three D viewer. Okay. Uh, three quarter size violin, unlabeled, 140 bit on that. Uh, two violins, just generic kind of stuff. Another two violins there. Another two violins. That one doesn't look too bad. A nickel mounted violin bow, unstamped. Another nickel mounted violin bow, unstamped. Internet's a little bit slow. Nickel mounted violin bow unstamped. Nickel mounted violin bow stamped L. Morizon. Uh, nickel mounted viola bow stamped VJ Ferrelli. Nickel mounted violin bow stamped Alfred Knoll. Uh, nickel mounted violin bow unstamped. Nickel mounted viola bow unstamped. Nickel mounted cello bow unstamped. Nickel mounted cello bow unstamped. Nickel mounted cello bow unstamped. A Baroque violin bow unstamped. Interesting. See the head on that. Quite curious. Uh, an ivory mounted cello bow unstamped. A curious one. Nickel mounted cello bow stamped P. Hoyer. Nickel mounted cello bow branded Hofner. 
Uh, Nicomon to Chelebo stamped Atelier Jaeger. Nicomon to Chelebo unstamped. Nicomon to Violin Bow stamped Dodd. A nickel mounted violin bow stamp Dorfler. Nickel mounted violin bow stamp JP Gerard. Uh, silver mounted violin bow indistinctly stamped. 275 bid on that. Some quite nice bows actually in this auction so far. Nickel mounted violin bow stamped P. Hoya. Uh, nickel mounted violin bow branded uh, Her Click. Nickel mounted uh, bow. And stamped. Sure, it's probably meant to be violin. A uh, nickel mounted violin bow and stamped. Nickel mounted viola bow stamped J. LaSalle. A uh, nickel mounted violin bow stamped Otto A. Hoya Parisa. Nickel mounted violin bow unstamped. Nickel mounted violin bow stamped H. R. Fritschner. Nickel mounted violin bow stamped J. Picadula. A silver mount of violin bow stamped Dodd. Let's have a quick look at this. Just for reference and see what this says. Um, so some missing bits at the top of the frog. Not super uncommon. Nickel mount of violin bow stamped Dodd. Nickel mount of violin bow unstamped. Nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. Nickel mounted vinyl bow stamped N. Laurie of Paris. Silver mounted vinyl bow unstamped. A nickel mounted Charles Cello bow unstamped. Nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. Silver mounted vinyl bow unstamped. Nickel mounted vinyl bow branded Penzel. Nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. Silver mounted vinyl bow unstamped. A uh, nickel mounted vinyl bow stamped C H uh, Buthold a uh, Paris. Nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. Nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. Nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. A uh, nickel mounted vinyl bow stamped Ernst Martin. Nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. A uh, nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. Nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. Uh, another nickel mounted vinyl bow unstamped. Oh, that's good. We somehow lost it there. So uh, that was lot 208. Uh, now we've got it back. Uh, nickel mounted violin bow unstamped. I'm not sure what uh, occurred there. Nickel mounted violin bow unstamped. Uh, nickel mounted violin bow stamped. Bazin. Nickel mounted violin bow unstamped. Uh, nickel mounted Charles Cello bow unstamped. Nickel mounted viola bow unstamped. Hmm, we are struggling a bit on the internet at the moment. Um, 15, uh, lot 215. A silver mounted violin bow unstamped. A nickel mounted violin bow unstamped. A nickel mounted violin bow stamped G. Werner. A double bass bow and a cello bow. A violin bow and bow stick varying lengths. Nine violin bows, varying lengths. Eight violin bows, one cello bow and one bow stick, varying lengths. Eleven violin bows, varying lengths. Eleven uh, violin bows, varying lengths. Seven violin bows, one cello bow, varying lengths. Ten violin bows, varying lengths. 11 violin bows varying length, 10 violin bows varying length, 5 violin bows, 3 Charles violin bows and 1 cello bow varying length, 4 violin bows, 1 Charles cello bow and 2 cello bows varying length, 6 cello bows, 3 Charles cello bows and 1 cello bow stick varying length, 12 violin bows and 2 cello bows varying lengths, 6 Charles violin bows uh, varying length, Six Charles violin bows varying lengths. Ten violin bows varying length. Two violin bows and four bow sticks varying length. Seven violin bows varying length. Uh, books, Alter Geigen and Bogen. So, old uh, violins and bows. The violin book. 
Oh, bad gateway again. We're getting uh, blocked a lot today. Uh, Luteria cremones contemporane. Yeah, <laughs> kind of contemporary uh, cremones making. Um, another encyclopedia. The Count Ignazio. We see quite a lot. Um, Catalogue about uh, Corona, instruments in Corona. So here's violins. Yep. Another book there, Renato Scolavesa. Uh, here we go, Gogenbau and Clanfraga. And are we getting blocked now? I'm not sure what's going on. I think we are losing internet power uh, for some reason. So we're not really getting anywhere, unfortunately. Okay. That's uh, unfortunate. Let's see if we can um, rectify this. Oh, here we are. I think we've lost one here. So the. Uh, no, that's fine. The internet is just not being nice. Uh, French luthiers, violin makers of the marshes. Okay. Uh, come nasca un violino. Violin making in Tuscany. That'd be quite an interesting book. Living legacy, historic historic string instruments at the UDR school. The Shambach Collection of Musical Instruments, Dictionary of Contemporary Violin Bow Makers, The Hill Collection, Italian Violin Makers, Gunari by W. E. Hill and Sons, Violin Bridges by Gerard Kilbride, Violin Makers of the Guarnieri Family, Dictionary of Violin and Bow Makers, Monograph Collection. Frame painting to put to violin, bow, musical and bust. An image of James Tubbs. Oh, £100. Interesting. A frame set of autographs. Daniel Melser, Adolf Brodsky, Albert Spaulding. A 36 slot bow case. A rectangular violin bow case. A violin case branded Gua. A violin and viola case branded Gua. Three black half size violin cases. Three black half size violin cases. Uh, another three black half size violin cases. Three, well, it says three black half size violin cases, but they look pretty blue to me, so I say blue. Another three blue half size violin cases. Three blue half size violin cases, Brandon Gua. Definitely not black. These ones are, however, three black violin cases. Five burgundy violin case covers and a cello case branded Hema. And I think that is actually it. That is the end of the auction. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So, that has been the Amati Affordable uh, 28th of April, uh, ends tomorrow, uh, 2021. Uh, there's not really anything that I would pick as such, uh, other than I guess I'm kind of curious about this cello back branded Perry Dublin. Uh, that's quite an interesting one that I'd shame that uh, it's not so easy to look at these things in person. Otherwise, I'd be quite intrigued to look at that in more detail. But yeah, um, lots of things in this sale. Uh, so if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description um, and check it out and uh, see what you think. So yeah, 275 lots, lots of stuff to investigate. Uh, and until next time, uh, ciao for now. Bye. Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications. And watch out for the next video coming soon.